Connor, just a thought on, on the gritty performance here, a second of a back-to-back -back against the Stanley Cup Finals, two-time champions, just pulling this out. Yeah, we were definitely, um, you know, not in a good spot. Um, got in real late last night, and obviously a tough one last night, and um, I thought the boys battled hard and just found a way to win. I mean, it was that's all it was, and um, it's nice to... Uh, to you know, show we can play a little defense. You know, there's a couple couple games in a row there where it got away on us. So um, I thought Sue played great, and uh, I thought the kill was great. It was uh, a huge momentum uh, builder for us. Um, and we just had a solid. How big was this for, for for Jack Campbell to be able to have bounce back? And you guys play well in front of him, I guess. Yeah, I thought it was huge. He made some huge saves, and um, you know, a good confidence builder for him, and um, something he can build off of. Connor, how would you describe the, the Vander King situation and well, obviously what, what happened there? Yeah, scary. Certainly scary. Um, you know, I think you could feel the energy in the, in the entire rink kind of just get sucked out. And, um, obviously, there's uh, you know, great concern when, when you see something like that and not much blood on the ice. So, um, you know, we're thinking about him and uh, we're hearing he's doing okay. But, you know, that's uh, obviously initial. So, um, you know, obviously it was a scary situation and I thought... Uh, Everybody responded uh, really well. You're in the course of a game. How did, when did you kind of maybe understand or realize the gravity of the situation that it was that it was pretty serious? Well, I think you know we saw him kind of go into the boards, and we we actually were saying he, we thought he might have been hurt, like he was going to stay down, and then you know I, I was changing for somebody, and all of a sudden he was rushing as, as fast as I've seen, and his his eyes were as wide as <laughs> as, as a person's can be. So obviously we got the sense of uh, of how. Uh, alarming it was and how scared he was and we were all scared for him um, you know it's obviously a situation that uh, you don't want to see when something like that happens like everyone gets a pit in the bottom of their stomach when they see the replay I guess how do you guys kind of refocus and and get back to the task at hand after something uh, like that? yeah I mean to be honest I don't handle that stuff very well so I, don't, I haven't even seen the replay and, and probably won't watch so yeah. um, it's a fast game um, you know we were talking in the room how crazy it is you know pucks are flying around 100 miles an hour and guys are flying around on little knives and it's a, it's a crazy game out there and um, you know something like that can happen and it certainly uh, um, you know provides the, the human side of the game you know it's uh, there's guys are putting their bodies on the line every night and um, you know it's obviously unfortunate we're, we're thinking about you know Pat Maroon pretty well he called for attention right away and that <coughs> probably speaks to the kind of guy that, that well I think I think anyone that's in that situation whoever sees it first you know needs to raise the alarm um, you know it's like I said it's a fast game we didn't even know he was in that situation and um, you know obviously uh, Patty being the guy is you know you know raising the alarm and uh, like I said I thought everyone responded well and you know, and you guys as a team have had a lot of trouble scoring first this year. A guy like Wolke Moore and Fogel to get his first goal of the year. What does that say about him? And ultimately, he had a pretty good game of doing other things. Tonight. Yeah, I thought he played really well. You know, I thought he was he was great on the kill, and I thought that whole line in general was good. Um, you know, Clowder skated really well, and um, Yamo did his usual, uh, you know, re his resilient self. So um, you know, I thought that line provided lots of momentum, and all all three were great on the kill. And, Provided a big spark for us. You're getting more time on that kill. How's the how are you feeling with the comfort below being on the on the uh, Yeah, I mean, I, I don't mind it. Um, you know, like I said, I just want to help the team win, and obviously the kill is something that uh, hasn't gone very well. So I think we're just trying new things and seeing what works. And um, you know, Kaner and I had been pretty good on the kill, and tonight with some other guys. So um, hope to keep going.